night time is the right time. <laughs> choppity choppity chop 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 choppity choppity chop chop chop. What luck! Oh my god, we're almost dead. One heart, and we found a bed. Oh no, it's not your lucky day, Mr. Pig! Get in my belly! Sweet! Look at this, guys. Doors, huh? Oh, there we go! Yes! Yes! Oh! Now, thank god my son is smarter than I am, because I couldn't figure this stupid thing out save my life but finally finally we got some diamonds hey everybody welcome back terry here on another episode of our create above and beyond let's play series now first thing you're going to notice there's some changes uh the house is bigger the storage looks different in fact i did about Gosh, three or four hours of collecting resources offline. Uh, you probably noticed when the video first started, uh, there was a little montage type deal. And that was just some clips of me gathering resources. So let's just start off and show you everything that I got. Um, first of all, I found some enchanted uh, leather armor. Yeah, pretty neat, right? Like, it's leather, it sucks, but it's something, <laughs> right? I had to have some britches and some boots. And the feather falling, that's kind of nice. So, that's about all we see here. Um, then, the hole is bigger, of course. I did find a bed. That was wonderful. Uh, I have some signs here of some things we need to get done together. Not really sure what I want to do first. All right, then you're going to notice I have the sandwich station full of veggies. I think we built this in the last episode and we commented on the uh, the textures. I'm pretty sure we did. Uh, it's missing bread, and there's a reason for that. I'm going to show you. Um, oh, the sack. All right. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um, I organized the inventory a little bit. This is create stuff for the shaft. Right on. Um, that was a bit loud. Maybe not. Um, this is all the resources that I got mining. You can see all those there. That's quite a bit. Uh, we know that redstone does not spawn in this pack. You have to process cinnabar. We will get into that pretty shortly. Um, all the live stuff. I got lots of kelp. Um, we are in an ocean, right? So I got some clay. Uh, I got some gravel also I'll show you. And there's a reason. I will show you in just a minute. I got these from a village. Now, the... The normal way to process bread, we all know the recipe you want. You put three wheat like that, you get one loaf of bread. But I'm going to show you a way to get three loaves of bread from three wheat. I find it so wasteful to do it that way. And I've been waiting for you guys to join me so we can do it together. Of course, these hay bales came from a village. Lots of bread there. All these flowers, you may wonder why I have those. Um, early game rubber, guys. We got to get some conveyor belts going on. I don't have uh, andesite machines. I can't make an arboreal <laughs> extractor. Uh, ARB, one of these bad boys here. I can't make one of those yet because I need one of these and that requires these. And quite frankly, we're just not there yet, right? soon very soon hopefully this episode will get some of that done uh the blocks chest um i did get some andesite while i was mining some cobble for building some gravel let me quickly show you outside um so i found this at a tent gosh it was epic i was almost dead a creeper blew up i looked over this cliff and there was a tent Whoa! <laughs> it's just beautiful, okay? So, yeah. Uh, I got some sugar cane. Um, you'll notice that I cleared some trees out, right? Okay, right on, right on. Uh, if you look at the map, scroll out, I explored a, a pretty large area, right? I mean, look at that. Wow! I've got some waypoints. This is the underwater glowstone. Um, this is that meteor, sky stone. And this is a... Vi I think it's a village. I... I could be wrong <laughs> okay now these gosh i love to build with dark oak and everybody knows that for dark oak you need four saplings to grow a dark oak tree but but i tell you there's a caveat you don't have to do that so these beautiful trees right here 
are the orange autumn saplings from biomes of plenty beautiful mod i love it it makes dark oak logs in a single tree with a single sapling it, it just fixes so many issues you can then use that in a tree farm you know because the four by four doesn't work very well in a in a rotary tree farm okay i also like to build with the cherry wood and so i have some of these bad boys growing uh, you know, you got to make things look pretty, guys. It's Minecraft, but come on. <laughs> you know, I have a very basic farm here. You'll notice in the middle, I have a lot of flax. And that's because we need a lot of string to make wool, to make sails. I'll show you. Um, I got carrots and cabbage, uh, tomatoes, and yeah, onions and potatoes. And that's just so we can eat, guys. Uh, I know that this might be too much off camera but it's just a vanilla farm I, I i held off on making the rotary farms until we're all together but i had to eat i spent hours and hours mining now i found some really cool stuff check this out i was making the mine right this is our mine shaft i, I know okay um i found an underwater aqua temple thingy majigger and another thingy majigger. <laughs> so you see this big biome here, caves, and we're also in the ocean. So if you look over there at all of I think it's called um gosh, what is the name of that stone? Prismatine. Okay. It's one of those bad boys. It's an underwater fortress that this ravine from the Sandy Catacombs biome just cut right through right in the middle of our underground of our house it, it's it's perfect have not explored that yet i'm gonna wait get some scuba equipment it's all full of water we'll do that together and also if you come down here there's a spawner in here a zombie spawner i think this might be a um i don't know a temple or something or and yeah i I died a few times. Don't judge me. <laughs> you know, that's my dead rotting corpse down there. <laughs> you know, let's see if I left anything behind. I don't think I did. Ah, that's why rope. So before I use these ladders, guys, I was using rope and rope works great. You can climb it just like a ladder. There's a problem though skeletons kept shooting my rope with their arrows and I would fall and plummet to my death so now if you follow me this way I'll show you where I've been getting all these ores and stuff from uh, yeah it's this vast cavern system look at this it is absolutely massive guys there's just this huge underground area and all of this connects to one of those villager, um, gosh, mine shaft doohickeys. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. We have a lot. Oh, crud biscuits. No. That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> all right. So, we will, uh, we have lots of stuff we can do. Lots of exploring. Lots of shenanigans we can get up to. But. For the time being, we got to build some infrastructure to get going, right? We can't just come down here all half-cocked and, and die like I did so many times already. That's just not going to work. <laughs> so, all right. It was a good experience, though. Ah, oh, I mined a whole lot of stuff. Stuff and things. All right, we'll go back inside. Oh, come here, you little son of a bee. Oh, how dare you? Yeah, fee fi fo fum mother effa. <laughs> All right, let's go in here. Boop, boop, boop. Now, if you see here, there's some stuff I want to do. Now, I want to do early ore processing. I want to do some wheat processing, some farms. I want to put a windmill up above here. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I I totally spaced it. You can't do this. It makes people dizzy. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'll work on that. So yeah, lots of stuff I want to do. I have a chest here. 
Uh, this is where I was turning flax into string into sails. That's why I have that big farm out there. And you'll notice flax, well, not like that. Like that. <laughs> Yay! It makes string. If you do four, uh, I'll show you just for the sake of it. That makes a piece of wool. Okay, and then you put, oh, no, don't do that. You put wool with some uh, iron nuggets and some sticks, and you get these bad boys. See? You get two white sails. You need to have a minimum of eight in order to uh, make a windmill. So, you know, I made 14. We're going to make a real small building, hopefully, if I don't talk too much and ruin the whole episode. <laughs> so, this thing here we're going to need. I'll just put it there for now. Okay. Uh, sidetracked, sidetracked, uh, yeah, okay, lots of stuff I want to build, uh, if you look at the quest book here, uh, over here, in the overview, preparations, we want to make these things, this is our focus this episode, it's called a seared melter, this seared melter, you can do lots of stuff with, now what we want to use it for, uh, primarily, come here, if you go into metallurgy, you'll see here you have an ore. You mine that ore and you get one to one. That ore becomes a crushed ore, which you then mill, which gives you three nuggets or, well, you know, dust. Then you can melt it or you can wash it or you can superheat and mix it. We're going to melt it. Okay. We're going to effectively triple our uh, output of our ores. It, you know, but I'm not going to make it fully automated, and there's a reason. So, the same crushing wheel that we can use to crush this dust, we can also use to crush wheat. You know, this is early game. We're not trying to, you know, anyways. So, without further ado, let's make a real cheesy, cheesy, cheesy early building. And let's get some power in it. And while we're doing that... Let's get this gravel here, and let's mix it up with this sand. Let's just do one stack of each, and we'll mix that with a stack of clay. This is going to make what's called grout, and this grout is going to allow us to make the melter. So, that's a lot of grout. <laughs> no doubt, that's a lot of grout. <laughs> oh my god, I'm horrible. Uh, we're going to need some more fuel, though. That's not going to work. We'll just do this. Come here. All right. Wish I had a hopper. Uh, I don't, though. So we'll come back. All right. Oh, boy. That ain't going to work out so well. Let's do this. Let's sleep. There's so many things you have to get done early game. It's like a mad, mad rush just to get some infrastructure so you can get anything done. I mean, it's hard. Um, and a site, you know, before we build a building, guys, maybe I'm going off half cocked here. We can do a lot in this little room here before we go building a building. Um, and also, you know, let me know in the comments down below, would you rather me build these huge, beautiful buildings on camera where you can see it, or would you rather me build it off camera and just bring you in and show it to you? Um, let me know, please. Um. That would be good. I need to make a sandwich because I'm about to die. So this beautiful device here, look at this. Bam! Look how much hunger this thing fills up. I dropped my supper on the floor. Oof. I mean, just look at that. That's, that's marvelous. <clears throat> that's why I want to get the um, wheat processing going on more. We're going to need a piece of glass also. It might behoove us guys, instead of sitting here talking to ourselves, to make two of these for now. Get all vanilla on it. <laughs> you know, get another stack of that. Alright, I need a piece of glass. Because we're going to need to make a tank. That's such a waste of coal. Alright. Good old J-E-I. We've got it, you know. So we got the seared fuel tank. That's nine of these. This, by the way, works like a portable tank. Uh, you can hold four buckets in it. It's pretty handy. And now, 
I got to explain something to you. If you look at the melter, there is another way to make heat. Um, it's this uh, right here. You can actually put logs in it, okay? But you'll find that those logs don't make enough heat to melt everything you might want to melt. So it's really a better idea just to go with lava, if, if you ask me. But if you can't find lava, you can just make this seared heater and put logs, charcoal, maybe coal coke, whatever in there, and it will do the same job. And then uh, we also have this seared fuel gauge or ingot gauge we have to make. Look at that bad boy. That's five more pieces of glass. Oops. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank God there's no vacuum hopper trash can in here. I'd be in trouble. All right. We got to make those. Let's take this. Let's do the first part here. Wah, 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 wah. There we go. We got that. We also are going to need a couple of these. These are really handy. That gets stuff out of the melter. Let's get some more of these. We're going to need one of these. Yes. Okay. And then what is the last recipe? I totally... Oh, yeah. I need the five pieces of glass. Whew. So slow. I apologize in advance, guys. This takes a while. I didn't want to cook all the grout off camera. I thought y'all might get mad at me. Be like, oh, you just played the game off camera and didn't even include us. That would be horrible, you know. I want you guys to feel included, which brings up the comments down below. Feel free. Anything you have to say, slap it in there, you know. Just please don't be a jerk. <laughs> That would suck. All right, we'll do this. And we'll do... Oh, don't have enough yet. That should be enough. If you guys didn't know, you can just hover over this. And if you click it, it'll make one item. Okay, but if you shift-click it, it'll make as many as you have parts in your inventory for. So, pretty handy. Um, pretty, pretty handy. Wow, there we go. All right, now, we have a seared melter. This thing is so handy. We do need some lava, though, <laughs> so we're at a bit of a disadvantage. And so, that being said, because I don't want to go look for lava, we're also going to make the normal heater. And then, next time I'm downstairs, I'll grab a bucket of lava. So, all right, and this is going to require nine, or eight, eight, I think? let that run for a minute we will we're gonna put tinkers over here probably the smelter is part of tinkers but we're gonna put it over here and then for now we're gonna do that you'll see why in just a second that's six not quite enough and yeah now tinkers let me show you what we're gonna build next this is uber important guys this gives you like the best early game tools so if you don't know about this please do this in your game you're not going to regret it it is so awesome so <clears throat> you go at tinkers we have these little tables here the crafting station um, which is like a normal crafting table only better let me show that to you real quick these patterns are easy to make just some logs and some sticks and with tinkers you're going to use a lot of these patterns so let's make a few of those we'll also make this heater and i'll show you what i meant see this seared melter can use either heat source so right here it's saying i need fuel to melt what's in my tank and i don't have a pickaxe but if you put it over here it would just use the lava so i don't have a pick because i want to make a tinker's pick you'll see they're so much better <laughs> okay um, now this right here is a casting table we can put molds on there oh I put this in a horrible place <laughs> it's okay I'm a loser baby why don't you kill me all right let's just proceed on and we'll move that bugger in a moment so we're gonna need some wood for this I'm so unprepared <laughs> all right we'll just do this we'll do like four of those 
Now, to make these, you do this, and then you do this. And of course, I have an uneven number. That was to be expected. Let's do that, and then bingo. Now we've used them all up. These are handy dandy little things. So the first thing we're going to do is make one of these, and I'll show you the difference. So in a normal crafting table, let's say I'm making something, but I don't have quite enough bricks, right? And I leave the crafting table, well, all that stuff goes back in my inventory, and it resets. With one of these bad boys, it's a bit different. <clears throat> let's say I'm have, I don't have enough. It just keeps it in the crafting table. And not only that, it shows the recipe above it. Now, that's not where the marvelousness of this thing stops. There is more. Yes, but wait, there's more. <laughs> so check this out, guys. If you already know about this, forgive me, but some people might not know, okay? And this is just fantastic. So let's say you have a chest. Oh, right next to this handy dandy crafting grid right and let's put some stuff in there then I open the look at that <laughs> isn't that just fantabulous okay so, you know early game niceties if you didn't know about this tinkers construct okay anyways I'll stop with the jibber jabber let's make some more stuff let's see we need I think it's a plank and a pattern no it's not maybe it's a log it is <laughs> okay oh we don't want that let's look at the recipe this, oh yes okay <sighs> whoop, whoop. Pa -dow. what does it have to be oak that is the most silly thing in the world okay it has to be oak we have oak. That's okay. It's oak. Don't choke. <laughs> All right. Let's just do this. We got that one. This right here. Boop. We got that one. So we only really need three tables. There's one more thing we're going to need, and it's an anvil. Um, but we don't have enough iron yet, guys. So, So with these simple parts here we can make some what's going on did that okay well we got two of those <laughs> okay so just plop these buggers down now i put them in the wrong order and i'll clean up off camera now this uh crafting station as you see you can also access every other part of the tinker station so in all reality you could drop these out of sight under the crafting station and just really clean things up it's up to you what you want to do now the part builder you put these patterns in here and we're going to want to build our tools out of cobblestone there's a reason and it's because then we can repair them with cobble even though they're going to be a diamond level i know i know just no flash photography please i'm so amazing <laughs> okay so look we want to make, let's say, a pickaxe first. So we're going to need a pickaxe head, a tool handle, and a tool binding. So we go over here to the part builder and we make a pickaxe head. Okay, a binding. And we make a tool handle. Alright, then, this is so amazing, isn't it? We hop over here. Yep, and we just slap all the parts in there, and out comes a really horrible stone pickaxe. We're going to make it better. Don't fret. Okay, now we also <clears throat> want to make... A lot of folks make a separate axe and shovel. I see no point. Uh, the the mattock, the mattock, whatever, it does an axe and a shovel. It does the, it does the jobs of both. It, it's great. I think it's also a hoe, too. It's just fantastic. It's a multi-tool, okay? If you didn't know that. Now that takes a small axe head, a tool handle, and a pickaxe head. So same old drill, small axe head, uh, tool handle, and a pickaxe head. Bingo! Oh, look, we're novice tinkers. <laughs> look at that! Ow! Oh, the progression! 
Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> We're going to win this game, guys. <laughs> all right. So you just drop all this bits and bobs in there. And look, we get a, a mattock. Okay. Now, we can get rid of all this other crud. Now, we also need a sword. That's pretty important, right? Um, I prefer to make a cleaver, but we don't have the anvil yet. So, we're kind of screwed on that. So, we'll make a sword. And that needs a small blade and a couple tool handles. Kind of familiar, right? So, small blade, tool handle. Now... Part of the upgrades on these tools are going to require redstone, which we don't have a lot of yet. So I will start the upgrade, and once we process our cinnabar, we will do more. Now, the first thing I want to do, thank goodness I found three diamonds. And look, they're legit. If you watch the beginning of the video, you'll see where I found them. So three diamonds, bam. Now, we also want a couple... Reds, well, at least two redstone. I don't care about the other one. And some quartz should probably... I don't know if this quartz will work. It might not. I might need some other kind. But then we go over here, okay? And we're going to drop our pickaxe in here. Now watch, watch these shenanigans, guys. Look, right now it's mining level stone. So you can't mine anything that a stone pickaxe can't mine. You drop the diamond in here and instantly we're mining level diamond. So anything a diamond pickaxe can mine, this pick can now mine. Also, we never have to make another pick ever again. All we have to do is use cobblestone to repair it. It's just fantastic. So, and also look, without the diamond, we have 100 durability. With the diamond, we have quite a bit more. And then we're gonna add haste which you know what haste is, it makes it work faster. Now, I don't have enough redstone to fill it up, so I'm just gonna do the one. Now, I also forgot that emeralds, if we have any, we do. Emeralds um, are sometimes handy too, if we have enough upgrade slots. Let's see if it'll take it. Boom, look at that. Not only do we get a lot more uh, durability, but we also, damage villagers <laughs> your pillagers villagers all the illagers anyways <clears throat> it's a good upgrade because you get quite a bit more uh durability okay and you still have your ability left which we'll go over later but that is a decent pickaxe and as it gets more redstone it's going to be even better now the process is entirely the same for this tool we do that boom look at that all right, and then we're going to do this. Yep. And then, if it'll take it, oh, it will. And look at that durability. Oh, cheese taters. That's great. It's also awful pretty. Look at it. Okay. Now, the sword. Swords are a bit different. Now, we do want the durability that the diamond gives us. Look at that. That's a lot more durability. Okay. Now, we also want to add some quartz. Oh, damn, it's the wrong kind of quartz. See, there's even a picture of it there. Oh, that's horrible. If you add um, the other kind of quartz, you get a, sh a sword that does a lot more damage. But, you know, guys, we haven't been to the nether yet. So, and you're probably screaming at me in the video. I'm being an idiot. I'm probably doing it wrong, but it won't take it. So, we're cool. We're cool on that, but on the sword, we're also going to add the emerald so that we have some more durability. Oh, oh, yep. And what else do we have? Uh, we could add some haste, but there's also a lapis, which adds luck and some other stuff. So we'll hold off. Those are really good starter tools. Plus, I usually ditch this sword and make a cleaver. You'll see why later. So much better. But... <clears throat> These are good tools. We can trash everything else. We don't have a trash can yet. And yeah, this looks really ugly. <laughs> so probably off camera. I will clean it up. Um, we need to move this. You need more haste on you. You're slow. Alright, so. Not enough room. We're going to have to really 
yeah, off-camera junk. But if we go there and there, and then we put the this here, forget it, and then we add oh this here, we can now melt stuff. And one of the first things that we need to melt for sure is gold, <clears throat> so that we can make an ingot cast. And <clears throat> normally you'll want to use a piece of clay for this, because whatever you use you're going to lose. And I'm pretty sure we could even use one of these. Yeah, seared bricks are cool. We'll save the clay. So you take one seared brick and just put it right there. Then we're going to throw some gold in here. See, not enough heat. I don't know if coal is going to make enough heat to melt gold, guys. That was the issue I was talking about. Let's see. Oh, and it is. Yay! Success! <laughs> okay, so if you notice, it's melting the ingots. It'll melt other stuff too, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. But we want this. This is uber important, guys. Now check this out. Now that we've made that, we can now make ingots in our melter. You can also make tool parts. So you can have metal tool parts, which are really cool. Um, yeah, so... I know you don't want to watch me sit here and make a bunch of ingots, but I do want to show you one thing. So, we were out and about, and we found golden horse armor, okay, in, in, a, in a chest. Now, a lot of people will leave that. Don't leave it, because watch, you can melt that bugger down, okay? Not only that, if you get, say, this is old armor off of zombies, right? You can melt that down and get stuff. Now, I think that's pretty handy. I can melt these iron tools down, like that iron sword. I can melt that down. Now, I won't get all of the ingots because of the durability level. It's a bit lower, but I will get some of that iron out. Uh, look at this. See? Bam. Seven ingots of iron from that one... P or <laughs> Seven ingots of gold from that one piece of horse armor. I mean, isn't that fantastic? All right. Ah, I wonder how long I've been recording and how much longer we have. I want to build some more stuff, but uh, it's really cramped in here. So we covered the meltery, and we covered the tinkerer's tools, so we can get rid of that. Yay! Now we have wheat processing, ore processing, farms, and a windmill. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is we have all the parts for a cheap, cheapy, cheapy, cheapy windmill, and we can build a cheapy, cheapy, ugly building to put our first little workshop in, and we don't have to be all crammed in here, but I don't know if I want to build the building on camera. Uh, farms. Can we do a farm? Let's see. Let's look at a harvester. How much iron and stuff? You see, everything is gated behind these andesite machines. And we can make some of these. And you know what? We're gonna. <laughs> First, we have to make some alloy. We have to make some algal blend. And that is gonna be clay and kelp. And that's the reason why I collected all this kelp in the first place. Let's just do it. Let's just do it, guys. It's inevitable. We're going to have to make this anyways. All right. Bam. Let's just do it all. Let's do it all. Let's go all out. Go big or go home, right? Now, this sucks. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's, that's horrible. All right. We'll put this in here because that's our live stuff chest. All right. Um, and we're going to need a lot of that. Let's... <laughs> I just don't know what to do while we're cooking. I hate that. I should have been more prepared, huh? Should have been more prepared, guys. Oh, look at that. There's this really neat tool we're going to make that will harvest the whole tree in one whack. <laughs> Which is going to be a lot better. We have a mess here. If you look up on top of there, I want to put a windmill up there. A really pretty, like, you know fabulous windmill right and then maybe like some machines out here i'm not sure 
I'm just wasting time, guys, while stuff cooks. <laughs> you know, our ugly garden. Oh, my goodness. We should make some auto food factories, too. All right, beautiful. That wasn't so bad. Yeah. All right. And the site. Oh, it, it's even a one-to-one. -one. That, that's pretty handy. So I did get a lot of andesite. Um, let's upgrade this. This isn't going to work for me, okay? Yeah. Upgrade you. Now, I know we saw that you can use a plank for this. I think you can also use a current crafting table. I'm not sure. Let's find out. I think we can do that. Yes, we can. Oh, I do that quite often. Come here. This... Oof, it makes things look different, but it's going to be better for us. So, um, oh, wow, would you look at that? It accessed the furnace instead of the chest. That's unique. You know, I didn't even know you could do that. Wow. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Whatever. Um, we do this, and we do this, and we get some of that. And we can do it again because we got access to the furnace like pimps. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. Now, we have all oh, crud biscuits. Well, we can't make a diamond saw, guys, but we can do an iron saw. And that's going to work okay for us, I think. Um, I don't know if you know about this recipe for a saw, but a saw is crucial to making these. We need three of those sets. So, we need to go like this. We get three of these, and those go like that. Oh, jump in the gun. I'm good at that. We need a couple of these for the handle. Okay. And then this is the part that holds the saw blade, and then the blade. Boom. A saw. Okay. Woo! We're almost there. <laughs> we need a bunch of cog wheels, which are a bunch of buttons around andesite. So let's make some buttons, and six is not going to be enough. Uh, that'll make 16. That'll be all right. All right, do this, and do this, and we get these. It's not going to be enough of those, but it's okay. It's a start. Now, I keep looking at the recipe. Sorry, guys. Logs, cogs, alloy. Okay. The alloy, the saw the cogs and let's use these up first okay this is a lot of crafting sorry guys four five six. wait let's do math some math <laughs> eight uh nine <laughs> ten eleven all right we need like 16 of these i think guys so logs and look at this look at that see why i upgraded that and you just come back, it's there, you leave, you come back, it's so handy. So, so handy. We'll have to use some of these dark oak. What a bummer. I've been collecting those to build with, but... Okay. Yep. Then, we need to make some casings. So, one log, one andesite is two andesite casings. And then we do this. Boom! <laughs> hey, we did it! <laughs> now, the first thing I'm going to make, which is going to make our life easier in the future, is I'm going to make one of those arboreal <laughs> extractors. And this is the wrong gall darn machine. Ow. <laughs> we need the... What do we need? There's another machine we need. Not that. Oh, it's the upgrade doohickey. Mm, son of a biscuit. I know how to find out. Let's see. Uh, drill. Ah! <laughs> Brain fart temporarily does not compute. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Smithing table. Let's make one of those. We need one of those bad. Those are important. Smithing table. Oh, and it's so cheap even. Just two iron and some planks. Yay, buddy. All right. We haven't done much of any progress today. Uh, wait, that... Oh. 
<laughs> there we go. Oh, doo -doo -doo. We'll put you right there, because why not? We're going to make this pretty later. All right, boom. So we put a bucket here and an andesite machine there, and we get the arboreal. I cannot say that word. From here on out, we're going to call it the sap sucker. <laughs> we get the sap sucker. All right. We really should put four of these on a tree, but I just want to show you the functionality. So if we run over here to this guy and we slap it down right here, it requires no power whatsoever and it just collects tree sap that you can put into, well, I'll show you, in fact. Check it out, because there's more than one way to skin this cat, okay. If you look at raw rubber, there's a lot of recipes. You can put resin, which is from the, the extractor, the sap sucker, that makes rubber. You can also do vines and water. You can do flowers and wild carrots and water. There's a lot of ways, so those are great and i will build we will build a building to house some of those later but i just wanted to get one going so we have a few buckets of sap out there so we can get some rubber going on for conveyors later on that's so uber important now we were looking at harvesters now it's kind of unique i can put this in here and we're gonna get two harvesters that's nice that's nice we would also need two portable storages so building farms is perhaps a little ways off uh, unless you want to watch me craft more of these andesite machines i had so much more planned we were going to do today but we did get some stuff done um <clears throat> i could maybe make an encased fan Let's see. An encased fan. You know, yes. No. <laughs> I can't even make one of those. Oh, oh, oh. I can make a bong. A bonger bonger. <laughs> okay, let's do that. It takes a block of iron and one of these andesite machines here. Press goes bong. All right. Now, early game, guys. Early game. Don't judge me, okay? We need to get the hand crank going on here. Oh, I spelt something wrong. There we go. What's that? What is that? Huh. I don't even know what the heck that is. Okay. Hand crank. Oh, that's so easy. Okay. We got to make one of those. So... Oops, if you're not aware, shafts are like that. You get eight shafts, okay? And then it showed three planks, an andesite, and a shaft. Uh, an andesite and a shaft. Oh, okay. An andesite? <laughs> there we go. Now, this is just fantastic. Let me show you another really neat thing that this casting table can do. Um, by adding more clutter to our already crowded room. So, I think it's go here. Yeah, put that right there. Put that right there. Okay, and then let's take an ingot. Oh, oh, good. Well, we're going to waste a gold for this. Sorry. We're going to throw it on the ground. Boop. Oh, we're going to get closer. <laughs> we're going to bloop. That just did not work. What is going on? Okay, and we're going to spin this. Boom. And we got a sheet. Okay, now we're going to remove this and we're going to put the sheet in there. And guess what, guys? Now we can make plates and stuff. Look at this. Now we can make plates in our melter. So. We're going to need some gold plates for deployers sooner or later, so you would do it just like an ingot. Okay, and you could do that instead of throwing it under your bonker. But at least we have a bonker. It, it's, it's crucial. You have to get that going on. If you look at the quest book, we're actually doing pretty good on the preparations. We just need the wrench, the encased fan, 
and the mechanical mixer. Uh, I would like to get ore processing done this video, but we're probably going to push it to the next one, guys. In fact, I think we're probably actually going to call it a day here. We've gotten quite a bit done. We got the uh, melter done, you know, with the fuel tank, no lava yet because we're cheap early game. But we did get the melter done. We got the casting table and a couple of these casts. We got the ingot cast and the sheet cast. We got the mechanical press going on. That's a good deal, done deal. We got the smithing table. We got a sap sucker out here. That darn sap sucker out there sucking that, sucking that sap. Uh, we got quite a bit done, guys. Uh, as far as off-camera stuff, um... I really have to know, please let me know in the comments down below if you want me to build buildings on camera or off camera. I'm down either way, whatever you want. But we need to get rotational power going on and we need to get some more advancements, but we've done quite a bit. We've made some improvements to our life. Uh, all right, until next time, you guys have a great day. And stay tuned for the next video. If you enjoyed any of this, if I wasn't too horrible to watch, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're feeling real adventurous, smash that subscribe button and hit that bell so you're notified with every new episode. All right, you have a great day, and I will see you next time.